Well, hello, good people. I wasn't planning on recording a video today, but I wanted to share this with you that there's been some updates on Invoke AI, specifically low VRAM mode. So if you're like me with an eight gigabyte VRAM card or even 12, maybe even six, you'll find running Flux on Invoke AI to be a lot smoother. Now, what I'm going to show you is the latest release candidate. So it's quite possible by the time you watch this video, there's a stable version out. Okay, so keep that in mind. For those of you that want to try it out on the release candidate, you need the latest installer. As always, I'm going to hook you up, so make sure to check the links in the description. So on the link, you'll see this version of the installer. Just scroll down and down here where you see assets, you want to download this one for the Windows version and the other two are for Linux and Mac. If you want to read up on these updates here, I'm going to leave a link to this as well. It basically just describes what low VRAM is. Now, when you start the launcher, you should see an update here. Now, this one says RC1. There is an RC2, which is probably the last RC candidate. So make sure to click on this and then it should find your existing installation. If not, you can find it here by clicking there and then go ahead and click on next. I pre-recorded this. That's why you see two mouses here. You want to select here the 5.6 RC version and then hit next. Select your GPU, very important for this. Then we're going to click on next once again. Then we just need to review the installation, make sure everything's cool, and then click on installation. Once it's complete, you'll see installation completed successfully. Go ahead and click finish. Now, before you actually launch Invoke AI, you want to head over to the release page here and scroll down until we get to low VRAM mode docs. And again, you can read through this, but the main part here in this file, invoke AI YAML, you want to copy and paste this line and paste it into the YAML file. Now, when the stable release comes out, I'm not sure if you need to do this. It might happen automatically, but in any case, go ahead and just copy this line and find your main invoke AI folder. In my case, it's here. And within that folder, you're going to see invoke AI YAML. Just go ahead and double click that. You can just use regular notepad. And you see, I've already pasted that line in there. Make sure to save it. And that's gonna enable low VRAM mode. Now further down in this page, and I would recommend this for people with 12 gigabytes of VRAM and higher, probably 16 and 24, you might wanna read through this and basically you can adjust the RAM cache for your system and your VRAM here. And that should improve your performance if you notice that even when enabling low VRAM, things are still kind of slow and sluggish. You might wanna try this. If you have six or eight gigabytes of RAM, don't bother with this. It's not going to make a difference. Go ahead and shut down the installer and reload it. And you should see the latest RC2 version here. And then you want to just launch Invoke AI. Now, I haven't done any detailed testing yet, but from my initial testing, I can run Flux Dev Q4 now before I could only run Q3. And at 768 by 1152, 20 steps, it was taking me between 85 to 90 seconds. It was fluctuating quite a bit. And even with the Black Force Labs control net depth, that's the LoRa, it was taking me basically the same time to generate an image. Now with control net union, that's another story. I don't think control net is optimized for lower GPUs just yet. At least as low as eight gigs, 12 gigabytes, you should be fine. My generations were taking like seven minutes. So that could change in the future. That could change on the official release. At this point for me, it's just taking too long. So this was a quick one because I wanted to let you guys know right away. Give it a try and let me know in the comments below what your experiences are. And if you happen to be new to Invoke AI, make sure to check out any one of these videos. Until the next one, I'll see you when I see you.